Hi and welcome students. In today's PowerPoint 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a title slide and a text slide with a multi-level bulleted list. Let's get started. So I've created a PowerPoint presentation here using the Berlin theme and the green variant for that theme. If you'd like to follow along, go to a new presentation, select Berlin, and choose the green variant. Although the things that I'm going to teach you today don't require that theme, you can use what you're learning today in any PowerPoint presentation. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to enter in the presentation title. So you'll see that whenever you create a new presentation, there's one PowerPoint slide created, and then you'll see what is called a title placeholder. And it says, click to add title. All that you need to do to add the title is click. So you click right there, and you'll see that my cursor is over the title. I click, it deletes that preset text. That text is just there as a placeholder. And now I'm gonna type in Autumn Family Programs. There we go. After I type that in, you'll see that I capitalized the beginning of A, F and P for the beginning of each word. You may notice that on your presentation theme, the title is all capitalized. That's okay, that's just a setting within the presentation theme that you've chosen. On mine, I do have lowercase letters. All right, so now let's learn how to enter the presentation subtitle paragraph. So down here, it says click to add subtitle. I'll click right there, and now I'm ready to start typing just like before. And I'm gonna type in tall, Oaks Nature Center, just like that. So I type that in. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to zoom in and out on your presentation. To zoom in, you'll see on the status bar um, down here, let me move my face out of the way, there we go. You'll see a little zoom scroller, zoom out, zoom in on the status bar, and if you can't see my mouse, it's in the very bottom right of my screen. I'm actually never going to use that again, so just forget about that, um, because I don't think it's as useful as the option I'm about to show you. The way I zoom in is I click anywhere on my slide that is not really within like text, so I'll click out here, and then I'll hold down control on my keyboard and scroll down on my mouse or scroll up on my mouse. Scrolling down zooms you out while holding control. Still holding control, zooming or scrolling up zooms you in. All right, so that's how we can zoom in. And I can zoom in to about right here. All right, so uh, that's how I zoom in and out on PowerPoint. And so now let's learn how to select a paragraph. So right here it says Tall Oaks Nature Center. If I wanted to select this paragraph, I could click it in and then highlight it. And that's one way to do it, but I think that takes too long. The fastest way that I know how to select a paragraph, and this works for Microsoft Word as well as PowerPoint, is triple clicking. You guys have all heard of single clicking or double clicking. Well, you can press uh, or you can click three times, one, two, three, and it will select a paragraph. This also works on websites too, if you ever need to copy something from a website. So that's pretty useful. Now let's learn how to italicize a text. These uh, style changes make your words more appealing to the reader and emphasizes a particular piece of text. So right here, it says Tall Oaks Nature Center. To italicize it, we go to the Home tab, Font Group, and you go right here to the italicized I, and you choose the I right there. And that will italicize your text. Now I know some of you said that takes too long. Isn't there a shortcut for that? There is. It's Control I. So you hold down Control, you press I, and you'll see that you can turn it on and off by doing that. All right, that looks good. Now let's learn how to increase font size. With this text still selected, let's increase the font size. Well, what's our current font size? We go to the Home tab, font group, and you'll see that our current font size is 20 for this subtitle. Well, if I want to change it to say 36, I could either hit this drop down arrow and choose 36, or let's just say I wanted to eyeball it. I could look over here and I just press this command, increase font size, one, two, three, four times. That looks good. And that's also size 36. So you can use the increase font size to increase it or decrease font size to decrease it. That looks good. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you here is how to select a word. Well, earlier I said that you could single click within a word to put your cursor within that word. Or let's try this, go to Autumn and double click, one, two. When you double click on a word, it will select the entire word. 
All right. So again, single click goes in between a word, double click selects a word, triple click selects the paragraph. So now just by clicking, you should be able to select almost anything you want within your presentations. So now let's change the text color. Let's change the text color by going to the Home tab, the Font Group, and then you'll see the Font Color command, and it has a red bar below it. I never really use this command because this red bar is really just the last color that you used, or the default color, which in this case is red. So most of the time this will be red. So I'm usually over here clicking on the Font Color arrow right next to it. <clears throat> After I click that, you'll see that I have my theme colors up at the top. These are all the theme colors for Berlin. And then down below, we see standard colors. And under standard colors, I see the third one over is orange. So I hover over orange, and I select orange to make autumn. You guessed it, orange. We can click outside the word to deselect it and click outside the area to deselect the entire placeholder. And then I can zoom out and see how my slide is looking. So that is how we uh, have this total title slide, add in a title, add in a subtitle, increase the font size, and also change the font color. So if you learned something from today's video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you wanna learn more about Microsoft PowerPoint, I do have a playlist on my channel for both Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 and Microsoft PowerPoint 2019. If you have any questions, put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video and have a great rest of your day.